Hi, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are looking at converting units between systems. In our last lesson, we converted within a system. We went from a customary unit to another customary unit, or we went from a metric unit to another metric unit. But today, we're going to go between systems. We'll go from customary to metric, or the opposite way, from metric to customary. First thing, um, well, actually, just so you know, the process of converting uh, with dimensional analysis is going to be exactly the same. What's different here is that we've got some numbers, some conversion rates that we're not used to using. Um, here on this page, we've got some different uh, conversion rates for length. The first one here, we've got 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Or you can turn that around, uh, still comparing inches and centimeters, 1 centimeter is 0 0.39 inches. 1 yard, 0 0.91 meters, or 1 meter is 1.09 yards. Okay, and then there's another one here for miles and kilometers. Uh, what's important to know here is that these decimals are rounded, most of them. When you're going in between systems, the numbers are not as pretty as 12 inches in a foot, 16 ounces in a pound. They're going to be different, um, and I've, I've rounded a number of the decimals to the hundredths place, and that's, uh, that'll come into play here when we do some examples. Here are the other conversion rates that you need. Here's weight and mass. One ounce is 28.3 grams. One gram is 0 0.4. I'm sorry. 0 0.04 ounces. Then we have another one for pounds and kilograms. And volume or capacity. Alright, capacity in there. Volume or capacity. We've got fluid ounces into milliliters. And we also have liters and quarts. Okay, so pause, you know, rewind, take whatever time you need. Make sure all of these conversion rates are in your notes because you are going to need them for your practice. And then when you're ready, go ahead and uh, hit play. And we'll do some examples together. Our first one here is 4 inches is equal to how many centimeters? Well, just like we did, we're going to start with what we know, which is 4 inches. And what do we want? We want centimeters. We want to know how many centimeters are in 4 inches time sign, fraction line, label. I'm going to put inches on the bottom because I need my inches to cancel. The only way they cancel is if I have the same unit on the top and the bottom. Now what do I know about inches and centimeters? On the first screen I gave you um, some conversion rates for inches and centimeters. I'm actually going to show you two different ways to do this. The first way I'm going to use 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Centimeters is what we're looking for, so we're ready to multiply. 4 times 2.54, you can throw it in your calculator, gives you 10.16. And just a 1 on the bottom. Actually, I guess I don't really need that here because we're going to put it over on the end. 10.16 or divided by 1 is 10.16 centimeters. And we're going to say is approximately 10.16 centimeters. I guess I should put that there. And even up here. Now let's do the exact same problem, but use the opposite conversion rate. This one, we knew how many centimeters were in one inch. But the flip side of that are how many inches are in one centimeter. Inches still goes on the bottom. We, we have to put our labels opposite so that they will cancel. But the other conversion rate that we can use is 0 0.39 inches in one centimeter. When we multiply here, 4 times 1 is 4, and now on the bottom we have 0 0.39. 4 divided by 0 
is approximately 10.27. All right, so approximately 10.27 centimeters. If you notice, these answers are a little bit different. That's okay depending on which conversion rate you used. The reason that they're different is because um, because our conversion rates have rounded decimals. I actually think that one centimeter is 0 0.3944 inches, but I don't want to get that detailed. Okay, Hundredths place is good enough for our conversion rates, um, and as long as you're showing your work, I'll be able to make sure that you have the correct answer for uh, the for the unit rate that you used, for the conversion rate that you used. All right, so let's look at another one. Here we have 250 kilograms is equal to how many pounds? What do I have? 250 kilograms. What do I want? Pounds. And what do I know about kilograms and pounds? One of the things I know is that one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. My kilograms go away because they're opposite and I'm ready to multiply. 250 times 2.2 2 is 500, oops, 550 divided by 1. So approximately 550 pounds. Just like we did on the on the last problem, on the last example, there's an opposite conversion rate that you can use. Kilogram still goes on the bottom, but instead of there being 2.2 .2 pounds in one kilogram, there is one pound in 0 0.45 kilograms. Pounds is what we want. We're ready to multiply. 250 times 1 is 250. And 0 0.45 is all by itself down on the bottom. Then we divide 250 divided by 0 0.45 is approximately, that's like 555.5 repeating pounds. Again, our answers are similar, but they're not quite the same. It's because our conversion rates have decimals that have been rounded to the hundredths place. I actually, for this problem, I like the green way just because I would rather divide by one. But it's really up to you. Whichever, um, whichever conversion rates you're more comfortable with, you are welcome to use. All right, three gallons. Let's switch back to green here. Three gallons is... How many liters? Time, sign, fraction, line, the label. Now, what do I know about gallons and liters? Well, nothing. Well, anyway, though, I didn't give you any of the conversion rates for gallons and liters. So we're actually going to have to turn gallons into something else before we can turn it into liters. As I'm looking over my list of volume and capacity units, I see that I do know something about quarts and liters, so I think I'm going to change gallons into quarts. One gallon is four quarts. And that's what we did yesterday. That's within a system of measurement. Quarts is not what I want, so I need another time, sign, fraction, line, label. And now I'm going to get rid of quarts. What do I know about quarts and liters? I know that one quart is 0 0.95 liters. Liters is what I want, so ready to multiply. 3 times 4 times 0 0.95 is approximately 11.4 liters. Sorry, divide by one. That's why I like the green way, dividing by one. But let me show you the blue way as well. Uh, the first part's going to be the same. Three gallons, I want to turn it, oops, time sign fraction line label. I want to turn it into quarts. 
time sign fraction line label but instead of one quart is 0.95 liters I'm gonna say one liter is 1.06 quarts so now on top 3 times 4 times 1 is 12 and on the bottom 1 times 1.06 which needs to be divided and we get approximately I'll write it over here approximately 11.3 liters so still very similar answers again you know probably tired of hearing me say it but the answers are can be a little bit different because the decimals in the conversion rates have been rounded Basically, it's uh, still dimensional analysis. The process for converting is the same as it was when it was within a system. We just have some numbers that we're not used to seeing. If you have any questions, write them down, bring them with you to class, and we'll see you soon.